Hello everyone, in tonight's video I'm going to tie a very interesting knife that's sort of magical and it uses these materials that you can see right now. For the hook I'm using 2047 Tiemco in size 14. Thread is UTC 70 denier in olive. A little bit of copper wire ultra fine cream dubbing and natural dark dubbing dubbing is made with fur that's very fine and soft it's castor x rabbit for the wing case and body cover I'm using owl wing as you can see very nice structure and a very nice coloration hello everyone uh, rarely I can say that a uh, certain fly has some ma maybe magical properties, but this fly uh, caught me some very difficult fish. I cannot say it's difficult, it's uh, magical, but it certainly has some very very good uh, attractor points here. So I'm going to start with the thread I mentioned, UTC in 70 denier. I'll start with the jam hitch, and I'll start jam hitch right about where I want my body to end which would be around here so a couple of turns then keeping the tension I'll just keep this tag forward and then I'll just go with my thread and stop right about where I want my thorax to start so I'm giving myself guidelines where I want my uh, certain things to start, certain things to end. Now, I didn't mention it in the introduction part of the video, but for the tail I'm using Tracopan, just reddish, but you can use whatever you want, I mean, whatever kind of tail you want, even Cogdelion if you want. So I'm using Tracopan because that's what the original recipe has. It's not, that, it's not something you will find online. It's not that kind of a fly. It's locally famous let's say I'm gonna take the, the tail to be the body length here so just measure it eyeball it not so important to hit it like completely so I'll just go down with my flat thread and I'll just secure this tail like so now the next part is copper wire and this one is very fine I mean you can literally use it for dry flies and it's around two turns on the bobbin so not too much not too little it's just easy to work with and I'm going to place it on the far side of the hook so I'm just gonna invert the hook right now because it's easier for me to to see what I'm doing and I'm just gonna place it on the near now it's near side of me but when you look this nymph in a classic normal way it's, go it's going to be on the opposite way of course now the next part I'm going to introduce is the body cover and that's made with owl if it's allowed in your country if it's not just use whatever you want pheasant tail is perfectly fine and owl has different colorations so you can match those colors with the body of your fly and I'm, I'm trying to find something that's not too dark not too light and I'm using I'm, I'm gonna use this part here now you don't want to take too much or too little so just like this because it's going to get a little bit tightened as you tie it down but now tighten by the tips but try not to ruin the structure of the feather now to make everything easier for tying twist your thread in counterclockwise direction so when you try to tie it it's gonna jump to your non-dominant hand so soft wrap I'm not applying pressure as you can see and now I'm just wrapping it around pull upwards and it's secured now with your left hand you want to pull this and direct it the way you want 
as you can see I'm orienting orienting the face side of the feather downwards because when I pro fold it in a proper way all those small barbules are going to face upwards so just gonna unwind it a little bit just to see where am I because I want to stop right around okay I can stop a little bit earlier because now comes the dubbing part and as you can see it's very sparse it's very light now uh, this is probably the most important part of this fly you're using almost white creamy dubbing and uh, the thread should be green you will see why by the end of the video and you're using like tiny little bit of it and this is going to be probably more than enough for this fly at least for the abdomen part now just you make your make your fingers dirty and in clockwise direction dub it onto, onto your thread make very thin and very uh, compact noodle I'll show you later when I finish it so use as little dubbing as possible to cover the thread that's very very important now let me show you you can see that this dubbing noodle is like super thin and it's not very long either I'm trying to make it like more even and a little bit more compact and now I'm going to this run away from me a little bit so one two turns towards the back I centered everything again and then start going to the front covering body in touching turns and if you need more just add a tiny little bit amount of the bing to cover for the body now take your time you're not in a hurry so this is it now you got yourself cream colored body um, fold everything towards the hook eye and keep it on the top of the hook shank like so up up now those wraps have purpose they're going to keep this between two thread layers not on the not on the hook and thread layer so I'm gonna tighten everything up and I'm gonna wait with thread for the wire over here now the reason why I attached wire on the far side is because if I if it was on my near side look what would happen I would displace the tail but because it's not on the near side it's going to go over the body immediately now instead of pushing the this owl feather like so you can just bring it back or in my case what I'm going to do because it's going to be better I'm gonna place it on the center of the back like so and then with each wrap you can just position it as you want it sometimes it just lays nicely on the back which which is not the case right now so I have to do it this way sometimes when it lays flat on the, on the back you just go with your wire without any problems but sometimes it just doesn't work the way we want it so now try to place nice nicely evenly spaced wraps ribs and this is more or less for the abdomen area now notice what I'm going to do now I'm going to finish up this with wire in as tight wraps as I can adding a little bit of weight obviously there is no tungsten here so I'm going to add a little bit of weight with wire now you don't want too much this knife is used for side fishing not deep spots rather 
uh, shallow spots fish that you can see you can observe its behavior and that's probably one of the best ways to catch a fish after dry fly fishing or sight dry fly fishing so if you want to do some extra um, exciting stuff with your nymphs this is the way to go now when I reach the abdomen I can just break off the wire it's not gonna go anywhere now notice the space over here it's going to take some time uh, for for your head part over here and for tying off everything now at this point you may want to cut some extra hairs from here but not necessary now for the wing case cover you want to use a little bit darker piece of the feather so as you can see I cannot use this part here I'm going to use this one from the middle because it's going to be easier to secure everything now for, for the wing case you want to use a little bit darker piece like so and again go with your thread a little bit over the wire and the wire is a little bit wider so it's going to be easier to catch this around like literally hug it so again soft wrap goes around the feather and let it go around the wires nicely and gently and then just pull back slightly and go with your thread towards the abdomen and when you reach the abdomen you may want to add a little bit of hot spot and it's going to be antron in orange not necessary of course but it's a nice touch now again I don't like this way uh, I didn't take sparse enough dubbing so I need to re-dub everything so thin dubbing if you need more you will add easily thin dubbing noodle and then just a wrap now let me see what I did yeah looks fine I may add a little bit more but that's going to be this is going to be okay now dar darker dubbing now this one you want to add a little bit more than for the abdomen because you may brush it and you may suggest a little bit of legs with this so but still it's again on the very very sparse side now in tight turns and applying pretty much pressure go with dubbing towards the hook eye now I'll add a little bit more here Now when you're sure that everything is covered nicely, evenly, oops. Later I will explain a little bit about dubbing, about collecting this dubbing. Because it's not a very con conventional way of doing so. Now I'm gonna just push those hairs a little bit down and make this upper part more available for the this wing slip. Now, again, fold everything to the front, don't break it if you can, and then with your thread, nicely and gently, take two loose turns, just to hold it in place. And now you can see that everything works fine, you can tighten with your right hand a little bit, and then go with your thread towards the back, like so. Now I want to cut as closely as possible. I want to cut owl like so. Do the whip finish and the whip finish goes. Maybe you noticed, maybe you're not, but I'm gonna mention it. Whip finish, I left intentionally intentionally thread near the wing case so I can do my whip finish not towards the eye of the hook. One, oops, I need to flatten the thread first. Flat, and flat thread will make your knot more secure and more nice. Okay, this is fine. Now, one, 
two, three, and under it four. And then, and then finally, we're gonna hide this head with a little bit more dubbing. And now it's very, very important to add super thin, super tight noodle, like so. And just enough for like three, maybe, yeah, maybe three turns, just to cover the head. And notice this noodle, it's um, very thin, make it even thinner by applying a little bit more pressure over here. Now, start your knot uh, the same way, but instead of uh, sliding the, the thread down the thread like so, you're gonna catch this tag near the head and then whoop, just make your knot like so. Okay. Now we had covered the, the head part with a knot. Again, not necessary, but I think it looks cool. And then you can just brush this thorax area slightly and suggest those tiny legs. Now, this fly and variations is super famous in Bosnia and those chalk streams they have and they catch many many fish on this fly sight fishing and they know how they to, to use this thing now i guess you can see why this is more or less magical nymph because it changes color in a very beautiful way and it has that reddish brownish color with a hint of green as an underbody and that's why i'm using a green thread so you can make your own combinations and experiment what you what you think will work in your waters but in Serbia Bosnia this works like a charm so you can you can try this one at home and uh, you won't regret it for sure so i hope you like this video uh, you i hope you find it very useful because i think uh, the the quantity of materials and how we apply it here is a very useful thing to, so we can apply it on other flies and that will be it. So guys, thank you very much for watching and see you next week.